Bradley Beal was so excited to go to the Olympics. I can't imagine how devastating this is for him. So we have Beal out. We have Love out. Who is Team USA targeting to replace them? Well, they had two open spots, and Hannah, they have filled them. Uh, Keldon Johnson will be promoted from uh, the USA Select team to the senior national team. Now, he has familiarity with Greg Popovich, obviously, because he is a San Antonio Spur. But more importantly than that, honestly, he's been around this team for the last 10 days. He's played in a couple of their exhibition games. But he is in, in condition and also, you know, in tune with what they're doing. The, uh, the other pick to replace Kevin Love is a bit of a surprise. JaVale McGee will be flying to Vegas and joining the team tomorrow. Um, the, the, the USA really needed some athletic big men. Uh, Kelvin, Kevin Love struggled to uh, you know, move around uh, because of that calf issue. And so you get JaVale McGee, an athletic guy who was on their list of 57 possible names at the start of this. And the most important thing, according to Coach Greg Popovich, was having a player who was in shape and ready to go they obviously feel JaVale McGee is, and so he will join the team as they get ready to go to Tokyo next week. Right. That, that's an understandably a huge factor because of these 11th hour changes. But let me ask you, uh, before we let you go, about Jeremy Grant. Uh, we mentioned moments ago he was placed into protocol out of caution. What's the latest with his situation? Yeah, all of a sudden, the big man position in the USA really needs Jeremy Grant. So I have been told that he has not tested positive, that he is in for contact tracing. And if he remains negative, he should clear quarantine tomorrow, which would in theory enable him to play in Sunday's game against Spain if they, you know, if that game happens or if they want to go ahead and play him. And he should be okay with no setbacks to join the team on their trip to Japan on Monday. So Jeremy Grant, even though he's not with them right now, is still in. And even though Trey Young has campaigned and tweeted from the last dance, the clip of Isaiah Thomas being left on the dream team, it appears that Trey Young will not be going to the Olympics. Brian Windhorst, as always, we appreciate the great information. And with today's game against Australia canceled, Team USA will now have just one final exhibition game before they head to Tokyo. They're going to face Spain on Sunday uh, before opening Olympic play, and that'll be against France on July 25th. They're actually flying to Tokyo on Tuesday. It's a while before the medal rounds come around. They're set to take place the first week of August. Jay? Uh, Hannah, let's bring Monica McNutt back to the program. Monica, we just heard Brian Windhorst uh, say Keldon Johnson and JaVale McGee are joining Team USA. What's your reaction to those two choices? Kelvin Johnson makes sense. I mean, when you think of Bradley Bill in particular, I wouldn't say it's an even swap in terms of his scoring prowess. But again, you mentioned the two things or the two things that Wendy mentioned that are paramount, familiarity with the team and familiarity with head coach Greg Popovich. So at 6'5", a shooting guard, that one I can see, and it is such an honor for the young man. I'm not going to lie, Jay. The JaVel McGee uh, selection had me making a little bit of a quizzical face, and not because JaVel is not capable of it, but it just was a name on that 57-man uh, roster, or the pool, I should call it, that I wasn't necessarily expecting. But then you look at what this team needs, and they did absolutely need an, a big that is mobile and versatile. Dwight Howard was also on that list. LaMarcus Aldridge, who we know stepped away from the game this past season. Mitchell Robinson was also on that list. But again, to the point of a guy that is absolutely ready to go right now, I'm not sure what Robinson's status is coming off of that foot injury. And Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, we know they won that Lakers title together. Maybe a bit of a toss-up there, but I actually think JaVale's experience in terms of basketball period is what this team is going to need as they go into a very unique Olympic situation. If you had that choice to put that one person on, knowing what Team USA needed, who would you have chosen? My heart was pulling for Mitchell Robinson, but I, again, I don't know if he's ready, ready coming off of that foot injury. But I think I respect what Kevin Love did, and I think it's a very unique opportunity. We've seen this on the women's side with the controversy surrounding Naka Agumake not being selected. You don't get this chance often. And so I respect Kevin Love for acknowledging that he's not in the best position and allowing somebody else to enjoy this. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.